As we get into the holiday season, the last thing we want to do is deal with dull aches and pains. There are some important symptoms you need to look out for. Dr. Pete Stradel uh, with RIA Endovascular is here to tell us more about their minimally invasive treatments. Dr. Stradel, so great to see you. You're an interventional radiologist, so tell us what that is. An interventional radiologist is a physician who uses imaging guidance to perform minimally invasive procedures. Uh, we perform a wide variety of procedures, anything from arterial and venous disease to treating different types of cancer. Wow, okay, great. So what are some of the benefits of interventional radiology compared to maybe other methods? Most of the procedures that we do are done through a needle stick. Um, and so these are procedures that used to require an open surgery, for example. And so in many cases, we have as good or better clinical benefits to the patient um, compared to the open procedure, but as you might imagine, there's much less downtime uh, and pain and things associated with the procedures. Excellent, yes, which is something that we love to hear. So we wanna get into the nitty gritty with you a little bit here, Dr. Stradle. Is there a particular sure. procedure that you want to uh, talk about today? Yes, today I'd like to talk about something called pelvic congestion syndrome. Uh, this is a very common cause. It's actually the second most common cause of chronic pelvic pain in females behind endometriosis. And it's caused by varicose veins um, that actually go into the pelvis. And these cause um, dilation of veins, pressure within the pelvis, and can really um, have a lot of discomfort for many women. Okay, now what are some of the symptoms of pelvic congestion that we should be looking out for? So the typical symptoms that women experience are a deep, dull, aching pelvic pain that tends to worsen throughout the day. Um, you can also have pain with intercourse, pain with going to the bathroom. And if any female has visible varicose veins in the pelvic region, uh, that is almost diagnostic for this condition. Okay, and, and how exactly is this condition diagnosed? Well, it can actually be very frustrating because as opposed to varicose veins on your legs that you can see, um, and, and palpate. Um, varicose veins in the pelvis in females you really can't see and so they're very hard to diagnose and it can be very frustrating for patients and their physicians. Many patients go through a huge workup including GI and gynecology and things like that and aren't able to find the cause. Um, if a patient has the typical symptoms that we talked about, the deep dull aching pain, the first step is generally to get a pelvic ultrasound. Uh, this could show us dilated veins within the pelvis. At that point, we would move on to um, different types of imaging, really, again, looking for dilated veins within the pelvis. So Dr. Stradle, how is this condition treated? So we treat this condition in much the same way as we treat varicose veins within the legs. Um, the important thing to remember is that these veins are not productively bringing blood back to the heart. In fact, the blood is flowing the wrong direction. So our goal is to actually shut down these veins that are abnormal. We do that by threading a very tiny catheter the size of a spaghetti noodle into the veins in the pelvis. Um, and we actually shut down the veins in the pelvis as well as the vein leading, leading to the pelvis. So once this procedure is done, what can we expect after we're finished with treatment? So after the treatment is completed, um, we expect about a 90 to 95% improvement in patient symptoms. It really has a dramatic improvement. And for many patients who have been going through years of trying to find out why they're in so much pain, it's, it's a real game changer for them. Um, not uncommon to have a little bit of pelvic cramping for about a week or so after the procedure, which tends to resolve over time. Um, and really, people, people really notice a, a very big difference. Now, you mentioned that this affects women. Does this condition only affect women or can it affect men too? Uh, yes, it can affect men. As a matter of fact, there is a, a male analog to this condition, which is called a varicocele, and it's very similar, um, it, except for the fact that the varicose veins are not in the pelvis, they are actually in the scrotum. Uh, but as opposed to a female where the varicose veins are in the pelvis, most men know that they have this. Um, Similar uh, in terms of treatment where we try to shut those, down those varicose veins and patients get significant improvement. With the male um, uh, version, the varicocele, patients can have pain. They can also, it can also lead to infertility. Okay, and Dr. Stradle, what are the next steps if people think they may be suffering from pelvic congestion? What should we do next? 
So the next thing to do would be to um, either talk to your primary care physician or your gynecologist, or you can even call our clinic directly. Our number is 720-493-3406. We also have a website, riaendovascular.com. Dr. Stradle, how does it feel for you to be able to help all these people when you're helping these people come in? I mean, how does it make you feel to, to make them just live a better life? Yeah, this is one of the procedures that I really um, get a lot of fulfillment out of, and it's because many women are going through a huge workup. They're very, very frustrated. Um, you know, they've had numerous diagnostic tests performed on them. And they come in, and you know, with a relatively straightforward procedure, we can really help them out and, and send them out with a smile on their face. So it's one of the procedures I really enjoy doing. Dr. Stradle, thank you so much for joining us on COCO, and happy holidays. Thanks for having me. The doctors at RIA Endovascular are trusted, renowned, and use minimally invasive treatments. Now, if you feel like you're suffering from any of the symptoms that were in the segment today, give RIA Endovascular a call at 720-493-3406 to learn about your treatment options. Or you can go online to RIA Endovascular.